Hello, Rupa here from Crafters Corner. I'm back with another video tutorial for this week's plate play. Firstly, I want to thank you all for your overwhelming response to my previous tutorial on four pallet wood using chalk paints. Many of you had commented, a lot of you had liked the video and a few of you had tried the technique and then shared your pictures with me. It made me feel so nice, so special to know that my work is loved by you all. Thank you so much. I appreciate your responses to my video and I continue to do that with you in future too. So taking it forward, today's video tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about Mod Podge and a technique using Mod Podge, which some of you may know, some of you would have tried it too, but for many of you, it could be a new technique too. So I hope you will enjoy this video. As you all know, Mod Podge is a decoupage glue. It is a sealer and then it finishes your decoupage product by sealing it. So it is a glue seal and then a protector for the decoupage products. And many of you who are into decoupage would be holding your Mod, Mod Podge. There are different varieties, but I want to emphasize first on this economical value pack, which you get the Mod Podge. This is the gloss version and this is the huge bottle from Crafters Corner. It's been with me for about three months now and is and if you see most of my tutorials include chalk paints and Mod Podge so the it's still going on and on and on so I would recommend you if you are a regular decoupager to invest in this huge jar it's going to come in a long long way for you and uh, yeah so let's start with the technique for today like I said I'm going to show you a new technique using Mod Podge you might probably have used your Mod Podge just for your adhering your tissues for decoupage and then sealing it as a top coat. Today I'm going to show you something which you can do other than decoupage with Mod Podge and that is creating a quick crackle effect with Mod Podge. Yes, a crackle effect is possible with Mod Podge too. Let's see how different or how similar it looks to other crackle mediums and effects that we achieve. So let's get started. I'm going to work on a bottle this time. So I have coated the bottle, I've cleaned it and coated it with one coat of bark brown multi-surface paint. Many of you have asked me how I go about coating bottles. I don't use the brush, I use a sponge and then dab the paint. And uh, as I'm talking to you, I realize that I want a multicolored crackle effect. So what I'm going to do is take some chalk paints. This is uh, yellow crochet and that is summer poach. So I'm going to dab these two chalk paints randomly so that the when the crackle appears there's going to be brown there's going to be yellow and then there's going to be a lighter yellow and that sounds a little cheerful right so let me have some yellow in this spot I'm sure you'd have given the various crackle mediums a try but this is a very quick and easy let's say a kind of a hack for creating a crackle texture a little different from the usual uh, crackle effects but nevertheless give you, gives you a quick one so let me do some cream colored dabbing here so I kind of know that I'm going to have this on the top portion so that's there let it dry There you go, my messy fingers. It's not even a few seconds until I started the project. So for this, you can use your gloss Mod Podge or your matte finish. You need a nice clean brush to start off. You can do this on any surface. It's not that you need to do it only on glass. You can give the crackle effect on just about any surface that you want. Get started. I have my Mod Podge. This is my first experiment in front of you, in front of the camera. Let's see how it goes. So you know that Mod Podge is a little watery. So don't give it a very thin coat. Take the Mod Podge and be a little generous in your application. Give a thick layer of Mod Podge is not going to be very fine 
I'm taking it down. Going random. Okay, so that's a pretty thick layer of Mod Podge in there. Okay, so I'm applying the chalk paint summer porch in just one stroke like that. Don't go about going up and down. Wherever you feel that the paint is not in contact with the Mod Podge, it's okay. Because as you know, Mod Podge, when it dries, it's going to be clear. So don't go about stroking it too much and disturb the crackle. So if you feel in some areas, the paint is not in contact, just leave it as it is. So, a quick moment. Sorry, that's my phone buzzing. Okay, so that's how it is. I'm just concentrating on where I have applied the Mod Podge. So I've applied the top coat only in that area. Let's just see for a few seconds what's happening. Is it coming or not, the cracks? Okay, so the cracks are beginning to appear now. You can see. So I'm going to do, use the heat gun to speed it up now. There you go, you see more cracks coming. Isn't it really magical to see those cracks popping up? It's very difficult to duplicate this effect. I mean, the next time you try, you probably would have cracks coming the other way. So it's just every time you do it, something different. So as the glue beneath, is drying it kind of creates the cracks when it is in contact with the top coat lovely effect there love the giant cracks coming so this is a very quick and easy way to create cracks so apply a base coat any dark color or color of your choice and then apply Mod Podge and before the Mod Podge dries apply your top coat this can be acrylic or chalk paint. I have used chalk paint here. And then once you see the cracks appearing, you can speed it up. If you have the patience, just leave it to appear on its own. Or use your heat gun. You're going to see these lovely cracks coming. Makes me happy. So I've dried this bottle now and that's how the cracks look. Can see some yellow ones here and then of course the brown ones and some more the lighter color so what i'm thinking for the rest of it is i think i'll go back to my good old sheepskin because i want to do some decoupage so there i go again with my sheepskin and for the rest of the bottle i'm going to quickly dab sheepskin okay so let me finish this sheepskin dry it and then come back okay so i've uh, sponged in one coat of sheepskin here and it's dry that's how the bottle looks as of now i have this sunflower tissue with me i'm planning to decoupage this around let me do that and i'll come back and show you how it looks after decoupaging this Okay, so I'm back with the uh, decoupage done on the bottle. You can see the crackle here and then I decoupage the tissue using Mod Podge again. And then I have used the multi-surface paints, which is pure orange and daffodil yellow. This is basically to blend the tissue to the background. So I have used those two colors along with the mini daubers. These are again from Plaid. These are amazing to work on surfaces like small surfaces, nooks and corners when you want to blend in colors. It's nice. So it's a dauber with a small sponge tip here. So you can put the color and then wash it off later and then reuse it again and again. So this is 
from plate excellent for blending colors gives a very nice effect in especially small areas nooks and crannies you can use these so i've done that blended these two colors and i've used archival black sorry archival green leaf green and brown to do in some stamping so i have done some stamping here and some crackle stamping here that's basically to cover up the bottle and then the base again i have done some distressing using the brown paint so also the top the mouth of the bottle and then a paper twine and a sentiment hanging from the bottle so that seals it and finally i have used the uh, satin finish varnish from plaid again this is the home decor varnish which is satin finish so one coat of that because this is just going to be a home decor item i have uh, given one coat of this varnish and that's my project for today crackle using mod podge give it a try let me know how you enjoyed this video tutorial yes this is a little bright and cheerful for my standards mine are usually vintage which is why i have brought in a little bit of the browns to tone down the uh, effect nevertheless i think it still looks very bright and cheerful the oranges and yellows so but i'm happy with the cracks this is not the best of cracks i would say but then it's easy quick fast for a nice different effect that you want to have on your decoupage products particularly like the ones which have come here and then i tried one more technique wherein i applied a very thin coat of the mod podge this is a frame complementing the bottle here you can see the cracks which are very very fine it's horizontal cracks so i just experimented with a very thin layer of mod podge going horizontally and then i quickly applied the uh, top coat which was the chalk paint so you can see that the cracks are very fine and they all come very horizontal here whereas in this the bottle we applied a vertical application so that's the difference that's the bottle and the frame together i'll have some pictures at the end so get the big jar enjoy the maximum from mod podge right from blue ski seal decoupage to creating even small cracks on your projects i'll see you soon with another video tutorial if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel i'll see you soon bye bye Thank you.